go back to the TMY data that you downloaded and, and unzipped, and we'll examine this data in a little bit more detail. Yeah, I'm going to just start with Guard since it's on top. You'll see that there's usually three or four files in here. There's a copyright and license, there's a DDY file, an EPW file, and a STAT file. Right now for this exercise, we're just going to use the EPW file, which stands for Energy Plus Weather. This weather file is a typical meteorological year, TMY, file. Um, it's generally the last 30 years of data that have been compiled and analyzed to produce real-time data of the most typical uh, events. And if I open this just with a text editor, editor, you'll see that this is a file format that is called a comma-separated value format, CSV. It's called CSV because, I'll show you here what it looks like, each one of the values is separated by a comma. So this is 1986, 1, 1, 1,60, which stands for January 1st, 1 a.m., 60 minutes. And then there's a whole bunch of garbage letters here. Don't worry about those. And then minus 1.9, which is the first value of temperature in Celsius. And actually, you can see here, there's a whole series of comma delimited values that stand for different, um, different data. You'll also see that in this file, there are 8,760 rows. That's one row for every hour of the year. You can see on the left that the, that the year changes, 87, 92, 85, 82, and this is just a window into how these files are broken up as real weather conditions, but the most typical ones over this 30-year span. While I'm at it here in the text file, there's a whole bunch of information right at the top here, which is actually pretty much in English. You can just read it, location Stuttgart, D-U-E, D-E-U, IWEC data, 107380, that's the station number. And then here's some important data. This is the latitude and longitude of the data. And we'll get to why that's important in a second. So there's a better way of looking at all this data, which is in a spreadsheet program. So I'm going to close this text file, and I'm going to open Excel. And from Excel, we can import the EPW file. I'm going to click on Open Other Workbooks, and I'm going to browse to my the place where I've got this stored. Here's the Stuttgart folder. And you notice, right off the bat, it looks like there's nothing in this folder. That's because this is looking for an Excel file, an XLS file. This is an EPW file, but if you scroll up here and click star dot star, it will show you all of the files that are in that folder. And what we want to do is open the EPW file. So click open, and now it'll give me a dialog box that looks like this. And it's a text import wizard, and it's asking you to choose the file type that best describes our data. In our case, we've got a comma-separated value, so it's a comma-delimited delim file. So we want to click on Delimited and uh, keep everything else as shown. Click Next, and it says um, the delimiters, these are various options, tab, semicolon, comma, etc. We've got comma, so we want to unclick tab and click tama, comma, and now we can finish and it will import all that data into Excel. So you remember there were all the header information, and here at row 9 begins the, the data uh, for the year, the first hour of the year. And if you go down to the bottom, there's 8,760 hours uh, or rows. So now we want to take all this data and 
copy it into the um, spreadsheet template that is that you downloaded from the class website. I'm going to move this over to the left side and I'm going to bring in that template here and you'll notice that the template is already populated with a uh, with some climate data. This is the one on the right. So there's a few tabs on the bottom of the template. Make sure you're in TMY data and here's how you do it. Here's how you copy it. Click on the upper left hand corner. This is really important. That will select all of the data. Now press Control C and you'll see this box kind of goes around here. And I'll go into the new uh, template and press Control V. Make sure you're in cell A1 and press Control V and it will overwrite what was there previously and that will then update all of the other information. So this should be now the Stuttgart information that you get right here. Good, so that's step one.